Hello everyone and welcome to another TaylorMade tutorial. Firstly to all your subscribers out there, I'm sorry I haven't been able to put out a video lately. Uh, I've been overwhelmed with work but hopefully this will be the start of um, regular videos to come. So this is just a quick uh, quick video and hopefully you have uh, the first of many uh, iPod videos if you're interested in those. If not, let me know in the comments, let me know what you're looking for. Uh, and if the uh, iPod videos do interest you, put that down as well. So this is um, Magilab Broken iPod you can see on the screen here. Basically this tutorial, as I've probably, probably seen from the title, is on how to stop App Store notifications like the one you can see on my screen. Well uh, if you have one of these and you want to get rid of it, uh, obviously first you need to know what it is. Because uh, obviously with things like jailbroken apps, and apps that you've got from the iTunes Store for free when you should have paid, sometimes the updates don't work. You can't get rid of the update. It's really annoying just there, and you want to get rid of it. This is how. So first, you want to go into the App Store. You want to find out what the update is. As you can see, I've got the little one next to the update. So if we just click updates, and there we go. We know that the update is for the Doctor Who app. Uh, I'll just let you know I don't actually use this. It doesn't actually work on my iPod because I'm running um, 3.13, uh, but it works as an example. That's why it's there. So um, here's the. Uh, the update that you don't want, you want to get rid of it. Okay, well, the first thing you want to do, now you know what it is, is exit out the App Store. Now, there are a few ways of doing this. Basically, what you need to be able to do is you need to be able to either SSH into your uh, into your iPod or your iPhone, and all you'll need iFile. iFile is this little icon here on mine. This is a this is a theme, so you may not have this icon, but basically, go into Cydia, search iFile. It's there. Um, I'll just open that up. Basically, what you need to do is either SSH into your phone, into your iPhone or your iPod, and find the app that you don't want the update for. So I'll tell you where the apps are. If you go to the root first, I'll show you. You want to go to, usually it starts within VAR anyway. You want to go to VAR. You want to go to mobile you want to go to applications and you'll get these random what looks like random lists of letters and numbers now every folder here represents a app that you've installed now there's a handy little trick to find out which one is the app you're looking for or if you don't have that you'll have to um, unfortunately just go through and find it um, first I'll just do the go through and find it one uh, basically what you're going to do is open it up and you'll see that capital FM dot app so this obviously this folder is for the capital FM application that I have next folder that's for the cube runner app that I have so obviously that'll take a long time if it's uh, unfortunately near the bottom but um, for all of you that have SBS settings which is a little city tweak SBS settings has a cool little this SBS settings for you that don't know uh, it's just a little thing you can get off Cydia where if you swipe the top bar you get these options here now it has a cool little feature if you go to more I'll bring it up here and you can go down to once it loads up you can go down to app folders you just click app folders now this will actually start loading up all the apps you have installed on your iPod or iPhone as you can see there and it will tell you what folder represents that app so we are obviously looking for the Doctor Who app so if we scroll down to D there's Doctor Who if we just click Doctor Who it will come with that little notification there Path for Doctor Who Private VAR Mobile Applications and it's the 25DE one so that's a great little feature there that SPS settings is included it works great if you're doing this so just check that again it's the 25DE so that's the one we're looking for so if we just go out of SPS settings open up iFile again so obviously if you have something like OpenSSH then you can do that through that same same way just go to open up your SSH program SSH into your phone go to the folder and do what we're about to do here it works works perfectly the same if I just bring this up here 
you can see that I have Win CSP SCP, sorry, Win SCP, um, which I use to CSH into my phone if um, if I don't want to use iFile. But on iFile, you can see that it brings up where we left off. So we're looking for the 25DE folder. So if we just scroll down, looking at the folder names, we know that there we go. That one just there is a Doctor Who folder. So if we just open that up, sure enough, Doctor Who app. Now, this is all you have to do to get rid of the um, App Store update. You want to open up the iTunes metadata p list at the bottom here. You can do this all within iFile, or you can just edit it, as I say, in your Win CSP or I think it's is it Duck or Quack or something for the Mac. There's uh, lots of videos on YouTube on how to SSH into your iPod if you're looking for that. Basically, once you've got that up, you want to go to Edit, and now you can start to edit this file. And there's only one tiny change you have to make in order to remove the app update, and it should be near the top, I believe. There we go. So this is what we're looking for here. You want to look for item ID if you can see that item ID it says key item ID and then below that it's got an integer so if you can see where that is just there I'll show you where it is in relation to the top so if that's just there it's so it's a little far down it's just from the top and then there it is item ID so once you found the item ID go into the integer just there and literally just delete that number that's in there I advise keeping a record of what that number is in case you ever do need it again um, so I didn't actually keep what that was but I believe I have it somewhere else so once you've deleted that uh, click save at the top right so now click done and now you've changed that file just there with that file changed we can exit out of iFile or your CSH, CSS, SSH program sorry and um, obviously it's still there at the moment just go into the App Store it will check all your apps for updates again and as that app doesn't have an integer it can't check for it and thus sure enough there we go all apps are up to date um, so if we go out you can clearly see that update has gone I haven't updated the Doctor Who one which as you can see is just here it's just on the end I've just put it there for this tutorial and the update has now gone so that's a great little trick if you're wondering on how to do that um, if you've uh, got any questions leave them below any problems I'll try and help you um, and there we go so comment like and subscribe if you like this video um, thank you very much I uh, will hopefully be coming out with some more iPod videos um, conditional on your comments and um, thank you very much